guys, what is happening, and welcome to the 10th episode of the Animetalcast podcast. Uh, today I am joined by my buddy, Claudio Oyarzo. What's up? And he has returned once again, the one and only Mike, the music snob from the channel Become the Night. How are you guys today? Fucking exhausted. Yeah, it's, it's good over here. It's good. One negative, one positive makes a balance. <laughs> there you go. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so guys, before we dive into this, I'd like to encourage you all to check the links in the description box below and at the end of this video, and check out the the channels of the two gentlemen who are joining me today. And uh, for today, we are going to be discussing YouTube. Uh, mainly, other things might crop up here and there, but it's mainly YouTube. Um, so yeah. Uh, I guess we'll dive into the shit pile that is uh, YouTube's new new partnership program policies. So um, now I know you guys are, are bigger channels, and um, this probably hasn't really affected you too much. But uh, in, in what ways has it affected you? Like, are there any things that you've maybe noticed in the past few months since this is rolled out? You're talking about specifically monetization. Uh, not just monetization, but uh, maybe like notifications, algorithm stuff, or any um, anything uh, after this whole Logan Paul dead body. Um, <laughs> that I was started off the year. I was actually just talking with uh, Samurai guitarist about this on my podcast. Uh, not like uh, earlier this week. That'll be dropping on Sunday. But um, mm. one of the things that I noticed is my channel stats went significantly down i mean they're starting to come back a little bit but nothing really um nothing nearly like what it was before and he he even said it's happening to him too and apparently it's just across the board everyone's stats are down which doesn't make sense like it doesn't make sense to me that everyone's stats are down because if universally everyone's stats are down that means that less people are watching plain and simple you know yeah so i don't know it's something something doesn't add up to me at least on that front but I fuck. I I don't even have a direct, uh, rather a direct line to YouTube, so I don't even know where to begin. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> and no one has a direct line. <laughs> so, uh, some yeah. some well, some YouTubers true. some true. YouTubers do. I mean, it's just like a YouTube representative, but I mean, obviously, a lot of times they give them like mm. canned answers and stuff. But you know, mm. yeah, no, um, because on my side. Uh, what has uh, happened is, as you say, my uh, watch time, everything has taken a dive. But obviously, since um, uh, I'm a, uh, a smaller YouTuber, uh, the other day, I think it was uh, four days ago, something <laughs> like that, uh, my partnership thing that allows me for monetization and stuff has been terminated. And <laughs> as a person who is uh, battling to find a nine to five job, well, <laughs> it doesn't bode too well for me. And. Um, I don't know if YouTube's going to be rolling out the, the little that some people have made. Probably not. It'll probably go to the Paul Brothers or some shit like that. But hey, um, the, so that's happened. And then obviously, as you say, the watch time. But there have often been times where like, you know, God, for example, um, there's this one show that I did a video on. And the show, most people seem to like it. But the other half of the community who watch it, like, find it, you know, offensive. It's an offensive show for stupid reasons, you know, because everyone is, like, overly sensitive for, like, really stupid shit nowadays, whether it comes to TV shows and movies. And um, mm -hmm. I remember the first comment I got on this video uh, in, in question was somebody commented below it uh, saying, like, and they didn't even watch the video. They were just like, Oh, I hate how everyone likes this show. I just find it so offensive. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then barely a few hours later, I think that that person maybe flagged it or something. But the next thing I know, it's like, oh, the video's not eligible for monetization. And I'm like, looking at this and I'm like, wait, what? I'm talking about like, you know, visuals and story and stuff. I'm not talking, <laughs> you know, like politics and <laughs> God knows what. And the reason, like the reason why, the reason why yours aren't eligible mm -hmm. for monetization is because um, you don't have a certain number of subscribers on your channel, and also because they won't even review it yes. unless it has a thousand views on it. 
Mm. Yeah, I think it, it. I think it has to have at least a thousand views within the last seven yeah. days 4, for it to be able to be reviewed by anyone on YouTube. I mean, it's not worth their time if if nobody's watching. Then why would they even care? That's and like, basically and yeah, like no, if, if, we, if we wanna, like, if we want to if we want to be able to keep our platform so that advertisers will fucking stay on here. Like we have to understand that if, if these are going to be reviewed by people. There's only a limited number of manpower they can throw into it. I mean, you, it's 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 yeah, unfathomable how much uh, video time gets thrown up on YouTube every single day. Mm, yeah, mm. no, but uh, this video in question it happened long before um, the, the 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 they rolled out the new partnership thing. So, but uh, yeah, no, I'm fully aware of the the new. Uh, policy that's why my partnership thing was terminated i don't meet uh, the 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours watch time uh thing but um yeah no uh it but it was just a uh, uh, strange with the, uh, that particular video but otherwise i know the reason why they doing this whole thing it's like kind of an attempt to supposedly clean up stuff but the way I view it is um, what YouTube is essentially doing. YouTube is essentially like, you know, that one uh, arsehole teacher uh, who's like, just because one kid misbehaves in the class, now the, the entire class get, has to stay behind after school or during break time and, uh, you know, has to have a detention of sorts. Everyone gets punished because of one kid. Yeah, but I don't, so, I don't really think it's like, I don't really think it's like that. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're referring to Logan Paul as the one kid, then I can kind of understand what you're saying. But, <clears throat> I mean, the truth is that they're doing this because there are a lot of shi shitty people who create channels. Like that uh, that, like, like that dude in the UK. Five, five a day. Say, like, fucking... Yeah, like, five, five a day. And they re-upload a bunch of content that gets... Yeah. Uh, monetized. And uh, they, 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 they get a lot of uh, revenue from that. And that's I don't I think the advertisers think that that's not a money well spent, because I, I mean those channels end up being deleted and so on and so forth. But for a while maybe they 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 make money, you know, like mm. for like three four days. And if you upload like fucking four hundred <laughs> videos or something like that, that that adds up to a lot of money in yeah. the end if they continue to doing continue doing that. And 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 that's what they're gonna. That's what they're trying to take away. It's like people just re-uploading other people's shit, earning money from it, and then disappearing, and then creating new channels. Yeah. Mm. That's what they're trying to take. It's not about Logan Paul, really. I mean, there, yeah, there, no, there, no. Is, there is part of it that obviously is, but that's like... The, the policies that they instituted because of him are for much larger creators, like even creators that are a lot larger than me. We're talking about like like yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, Google preferred type advertising and stuff like the really high high tier uh, advertising, you know. Yeah, that doesn't affect any of us yeah. anyway. So, and mm. and uh, what was I gonna say? Or even like that uh, that kid from the UK who had the prank channel and he got uh, bl blown uh, up for fuck. for throwing water <laughs> in people's faces. First of all, on the on the uh, record, yes. that guy is a giant piece of shit. And I'm so happy that he got his channel taken down because like that, he, he makes us look terrible. Yeah. He makes us look freaking horrible, yeah. man. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, that, that's, yeah, a, that's that, another thing they're trying to prevent is, um, you know, people like him who upload garbage and, and are a terrible influence and make the whole platform look bad. They're trying to monitor people like him, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fully aware of of those, and like you said, uh, Logan Paul's only a, a a part of it. And I'm uh, and I know uh, uh, the other day, actually, uh, believe it or not, uh, Claudio, <laughs> when I was looking well. up, um, when I was looking up rea a reaction to a certain uh, song by a certain band, uh, the when you go to you know when you on the search uh, <laughs> bar, um, you have the thing the filters that make you choose from like uploaded latest uh, most recent blah 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 everything like that okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so uh i uh, i did the from the upload newest and uh somebody uh took one of peter's galactic criminals uh videos and it actually uploaded to their own so i went and uh, fished this channel out and um it, it turns out they're one of those you know those uh, shitty toy channels you know you know the ones that like yeah, ethan bradbury yeah, yeah. and they do yeah 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 
it's a channel like that. So they started off like uploading like pizza and a whole bunch of other people's content, random stuff yeah. everywhere. And yeah, and I get it. They're trying to get rid of uh, uh, that. But I mean, there are so many other factors as well besides Logan Paul and channels putting up garbage or thieving stuff into play as well. You also got to take uh, – uh, because YouTube is owned by Google, right? And um, yep. and Google, as we know, <laughs> have uh, not had a, a particularly, um, how shall we say, a pleasant track record with uh, some of their employees who don't, you know, think the same way that they do. We've all oh, we can even before. we can even dive into some of the channels that they demonetize on a regular basis before Adpocalypse was even a thing. Like, do, yeah. dude, oh, you, Google, Google's got to do some re-examining if they want to, oh, shouldn't say if they want to stay in charge because, I mean, they, they already have so much control over the information. It'd be, it would take a lot to really be any kind of real competition with any of the um, sectors they have business interests in, which I don't know if you guys looked into Alphabet at all, the parent company. Um, Alpha, Alphabet mm-hmm. has their fingers in so many different things. It's actually scary. It's legitimately scary. Like, look at look Alex at, Jones. No, it's not not Alex Jones. <laughs> not Alex Jones. <laughs> Although, quick, no, quick no, side, I'm quick side like, note. One of my Jones favorite. Movie. Quick side note. One of my favorite memes is Alex Jones going Super Saiyan. It's fucking amazing. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that is um. I didn't know that, that, uh, now that you said that is kind of scary. And that's why I was saying that that's like, um, that's like Alex Jones material for him to rant about. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. Um, but in all seriousness, yeah, yeah, like, um, uh, the thing you said about, uh, channels being hit by, um, demonetization before the ad apocalypse was even a thing is like a prime example of that was, um, uh, I don't know if uh, any of you guys watch uh, Razor Fist, the Rageaholic. I don't, but I, uh, I don't, but, but I'm familiar with him. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, so um, Razor Fist uh, and a whole bunch of other YouTubers who make content similar to him, because Razor Fist's channels like it's not uh, just political stuff. He mainly does reviews of video games and uh, comics yeah. and stuff like that. But um. Uh, uh, the dude was apparent. Uh, he's apparently been on a blacklist for such a long time that uh, uh, that it. Uh, he actually did a test on his channel, and the uh, the test was he uploaded a video of him just saying blah 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 blah, like no actual words, just going blah 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 blah, and then immediately the video was uh, hit with demonetization. That wasn't people weren't being notified of it, everything like that. He did a whole test of it and he was like, oh, he has the blacklist, I'm on it and stuff. It was, it's just completely insane uh, that uh, Google does that to channels that, you know, don't um, quite align with their way of thinking and stuff. And <laughs> probably- But I mean, I mean, I think, I mean, Google is a, it's a private company, no? Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely private yeah, I mean, entity. I mean, they, I mean, they, I mean, they're they they are allowed to 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 do basically. They can do they can whatever do whatever the fuck, the they, fuck want. they want. The issue comes the Without the issue comes in giving us is any heads the issue up. comes in is there's not an official contract, but I mean, you could say there's a legal contract between the people who use YouTube as a channel and Google or YouTube or however you want to look at it. Um, they need to be transparent. Yeah. And if they start breaking their contract saying, oh, we're demonetizing your video because it doesn't follow our guidelines, cite the guidelines. And if it does, and if you citing that specific guideline doesn't fall into why my video was demonetized, you're not following your own rules. Mm-hmm. So you can do whatever, you do whatever the fuck you want. Tell us what we need to do. And by doing, by doing that, then you're going to be able to better set up people to be like, okay, I know this video is going to be demonetized, or I know all of my videos are going to be demonetized because it doesn't fall into whatever <laughs> fucking uh, whatever fucking yeah, but that, group thing they have. Been, that that's been the problem since forever. I mean, I remember when I started watching YouTube. I mean, back in the day, people. I mean, a lot a lot of younger YouTubers or younger kids and uh, people being affected about this. Uh, apocalypse or the fact that they can't get their monet their videos monetized anymore <clears throat> you, you you didn't i mean back in the days you didn't get to monetize your videos yeah you didn't even get to do like a fucking thumbnail i mean i remember when i joined youtube we didn't receive any any 
any money or anything for for uploading. I mean, people just did it f for for the heck of it. I mean, that came yeah. later. So that's, I mean, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of them who are big today, didn't start YouTube because they wanted to earn a living. I mean, that just kind of mm. happened. But mm. before that, people just did it because they and if wanted I, to. And if I remember, they, they were looking for a career. If I actually remember, yeah. too, the YouTube partnership program what, used to be exclusive when it first started. Yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah, and it wasn't really that long ago yeah. either. That's the thing. I mean, it feels like it was forever ago. And to be honest, it wasn't. That's 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 how that's how, I mean, that's how quickly that's how quickly things progress, man. That's how quickly things progress. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, a lot a lot of what I'm talking about is a lot of people are 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 are, are upset about about this. But the fact is that they just went back to what they were doing from the beginning. To be honest, actually, actually, because, it's still it's uh, still certain, more generous than what they were doing at the beginning. <laughs> it's still even more generous. Yeah, yeah, it is more generous. <laughs> it is more generous than what they were doing in the beginning. And actually, they changed the whole uh, rule about the, the 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 three strikes and the amount of time that the strikes are in and all that all that stuff. For today, today, if if you get a, a, a some sort of strike on your channel, it's like three months, and then you're back on track. I mean, just a few years ago, it was at least six months. Yeah. Uh, for a strike, you, you know, so they 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 have getting softer in on, on one sense, but in another, maybe they have, I don't know, but I, I think people are complaining a whole lot. Uh, to be honest, there, there's a whole lot of there's a whole unfair. lot of people complaining, and there are some complaints to be had, of course, but the one thing that most people aren't doing, and this kind of thing always pisses me off, is they're not throwing out any solutions. It's it's one thing it's mm. one thing to be pissed off about something, it's another thing to actually try and help the situation. Like if you really wanted to improve um, advertisers being more comfortable with putting their ads in front of things, if you wanted to improve the happiness of your content creators, which at the end of the day, that's your gold, that's your freaking money. Advertisers are very important. But if you don't have people coming to the channel, yeah. they're not going to watch the damn ads. So remember that. Remember that, YouTube. Yeah. If, if you're, you're not watching, but yeah. that's okay. And but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on one second. So what they should do, very specifically, is instead of being a third party who doesn't really communicate that well to advertisers or to the creators, get the fuck out of our way and let us talk to each other directly. What's the harm in that? First of all, mm. make them more aware of how online media goes and how putting a Coke ad in front of someone cussing and swearing and saying terrible shit, they're not going to associate that with the Coke ad. They're not going to be like, oh, Coke endorses it. They don't endorse that message. They're just trying to get their advertiser stuff out on the platform in general. Are you trying to say that freaking the, the military, uh, the U.S. military is OK with everyone kneeling for the national anthem because they put their commercials in front of NFL stuff? No, they're not. Shut the fuck up. Like, just let us talk to them. Let us help them understand how this platform yeah, that's works. The thing. It's mm. the communication part of YouTube that it's 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 problematic, you know? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's the whole that's... thing. It's the, they never really communicate at least not in time for people to prepare for big changes and stuff like that. It's that they, they kind of sneak in a new algorithm yeah. change. Not just to fuck with us, but just to try it out and see if it works. And once people start complaining why things don't work as they used to, only then do they, you know, maybe address it a little yeah. bit. Oh, but we did like a blog post about it last week. Oh, uh, like, dude, dude, their their really. blog yeah, like their blog posts are, are fucking bullshit anyway. I mean, not. <laughs> yes, they are, they, are, they are bullshit. Of course, they're bullshit. They they need to communicate way more clear to 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 not only the content creators, but I mean, I bet I bet YouTube are very clear and transparent towards their advertising. I don't. I, as a matter of fact, from from what the, I've heard, uh, through through different mm -hmm. uh mouth like a person heard from a person from another person from another person. They're they're yeah. still not even that clear with their advertisers, which is one of the reasons why their advertisers are a little bit on edge. Hmm. Yeah, like it's it. But that's yeah, weird. it is really weird. But okay, so so just 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 to just, okay, just to uh, 
to, to, to turn it around then. If they're not even communicating with their advertisers, what the why the hell would they want to communicate? <laughs> true. True. <laughs> like, like yeah. I mean right? I mean either way, either way they're they're handling it poorly. That's that's for sure. They are. But it, I don't see how they can communicate. I mean, I don't think they know how. That's that's the thing. They communicate with like uh, specific YouTubers that they have, they that they have that they have like on a, on, you know, special YouTubers like Casey Neistat or like really big yeah. YouTubers that they have a direct contact with. But but the rest of us, it's like we don't know. Nobody knows. <clears throat> and that's the th- yeah. it's kind of weird. And that's the thing too. Uh, oh fuck! I forgot what I was gonna say. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Never mind. I know that Never happens mind. to me a lot. Uh, brain farts the um, worst. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm with you there. Also, bad short term memory. Um, but uh, yes, the no. What I was gonna say is uh, when you were saying uh, a lot of people are outraged, but they're not offering any solutions. Is um, the one thing that. Uh, uh, has been uh, actually discussed, which could be a far better solution than you know in in uh, putting an algorithm out that fucks everyone over. Is I don't know if um, either of you guys have uh, heard of this uh, uh, this website. Have, uh, it's like in a beta test at the moment. It's nothing official, and I wouldn't recommend hopping on it just yet in case it goes like vid me and crashes down. But uh, have any of you guys heard of uh, DTube? Not not familiar. Nope. Oh, okay. All right. So DTube, uh, it's like um, it's it's like a almost like similar to YouTube, but uh, instead of um, uh, operating like Vidme did with this whole uh, you know like you can either subscribe or just follow, and only if you subscribe then. Uh, uh, money goes straight to the content creator or something like that. Uh, there is um, like a form of a cryptocurrency of sorts. And now that's the money side of it. But there is uh, apparently a feature on it uh, that uh, allows you to kind of uh, put in there what kinds of videos you'd like to get recommended to you. So I don't hmm. see why YouTube can't like I don't know maybe like obviously a normal person probably wouldn't use it but let's just say uh, 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 they put a triggly puff icon in in the corner next to you know where you sign in and shit and then the, uh, someone who's easily offended clicks on triggly puff face and then types in I don't want to see videos of X Y Z and Z and then the uh, the algorithm for your case goes oh we won't recommend these videos then and then you just get you know your echo chamber of stuff then may, maybe you know instead of punishing all of us then at least people can select their stuff manually what they want to see they actually that's what dtube has they, anyway. they actually did have something similar to that like on your home page every once in a while there's like a survey that pops up being like how how much do you like what's being recommended to you on your home page um and if, really? uh, yeah, that I've had, I used to have that. I haven't seen it as much anymore, but then again, I don't really go on the desktop version very often anymore. Um, and that's, that's the thing that's not integrated or, or no, wait, I think it was actually integrated into the mobile service as well. Um, but I think there's also, um, if you click on the channel, it's like, don't, don't show me this channel again. Like if it's on your homepage, I think there is a way to do that. Yes. It's not really spelled yeah. out and they don't like give you a tutorial of how to do it ahead of time and who the fuck would want to go through the tutorial anyway it's like it's youtube you know <laughs> but um yeah but um it's- i mean I th- there are some features like that built into it but like i only figured it out because i was curious and i mean i'm a creator on here so i want to know as much about how this thing works as possible so you yeah. know uh but as far as that goes i mean when when you set up an account if you're new to youtube that well i mean Granted, it's all locked into your your Google account. So, I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it than just making a new YouTube account. But, I mean, if they had some Mm. preferences of like, hey, these are people that we recommend. What kind of stuff would you like to see? And if you start clicking on different um, genres or subgenres, they start being like, oh, you might like these guys, da 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 you know? So, like, that actually could be a, a pretty cool way of tailoring it. Or even if every once in a while they just popped up a little survey or something, just be like, hey... How do you how do you feel like we're doing? Have you checked out these guys? What don't you like? 
It, that, yeah. it, it could be could be helpful. It also could be annoying. Who knows? Uh, yeah, probably. And also, mm. if they just uh, like as you said, uh, they didn't really do it properly. Like if they maybe if they did it properly, it would help a bit more. The you know the transparency and the communication issues, I guess, in a way. But uh, I'm a, I'm with Claudio there as well. Like uh, and even with you as well. They they really need to uh, notify people. Uh, before they roll out these algorithm changes and stuff because it's just plain ridiculous like uh, I With the exception of these emails that like saying that you know uh, my accounts no longer eligible for etc, etc um, I lost got an uh, email from YouTube. I think uh, like 2015 maybe early 2016 other than that. I've never received a single email from them at all since so I don't know. Um, it, the, the communication is just fucking terrible. Um, I, I do get uh, emails from them every once in a while, but they don't come into my main inbox. So that might be something. Really? Yeah. Um, and usually it's like fluff pieces and bullshit and stuff like that. But um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, as far as the algorithm changes and, and how they roll it out and everything, I think one of the reasons why they don't immediately tell us is because they're not sold on the idea at the time. And they probably have some kind of controlled environment where they try it out and they test it out numerous times. And they're like, OK, in theory, it works. Now we actually need to test it in reality. So they probably have to drop it in the actual environment to see what happens. This is a, all, all a guess on my part. All a guess, by the way. But, um, you know, mm. that they're probably like, we're not set on this idea yet. So we're not going to say this is what's changing. Although what they could say <laughs> is, hey, we're testing some new things out. Please bear with us. If something crazy happens, please let us know. Here's an email you can email us at if something crazy happens. And, and yeah, like, yeah, that's not difficult. I mean, granted, you're going to have to have someone read through those emails. No. But I mean, shit. Drop an extra, drop an extra I mean, million. Think, Get a team. You know, <laughs> like yeah. I think you know what I. You know what I think. I think that the 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 people working at YouTube, uh, with the platform itself, technicians, coders, every, everybody. I think that they are tweaking the web uh, the, the the website and the uploads and all things, at all times. So I mean I, I wouldn't want to have a fucking email every time they do anything, but whenever something <laughs> big, at least when whenever we talk when we're talking like we're gonna do something we've never tried before, we don't know what the fuck is going to happen. Just bear with us. That that would be good. That would yes. be good, but not for every. And little obviously, thing. there's still there's also, still gonna be people that are gonna bitch about it, but there's it's gonna be more understandable yeah, sure. and people can at least brace themselves. You know. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. And they can also, uh, by knowing what's happening, see if something changed for them and maybe report it. I, I think that could help YouTube. Uh, in the oh, my run. God. I mean, what they, a fucking they, crazy they, idea. They Getting actual feedback yeah. from people who actually use your platform in real time. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like you'd have more accurate <laughs> data or something. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be the most that would be the best thing to do, you know? Uh, but I, no, I they're, 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 too so they're too busy. They're too busy trying to make sure there's no fucking libertarians or conservatives at Google. They got other priorities. Uh, gosh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So did I, did I, did I, did I just drop a bomb? Up. Did I just open a can of worms? My bad. <laughs> no, no, no. I won? No. I won? <laughs> I'm just saying like, uh, yeah, no. Um, but again, that, that I'm with you there with the whole, uh, uh, libertarian conservative thing because I think uh, the guy I mentioned earlier, Razorfist, is a libertarian, I believe. Uh, I, then, I think you're right. Obviously, you got your more conservative. Yeah, he is because, you know, if you watch, I've watched a lot of his videos lately and uh, uh, he did an entire video talking about the, you know, the, the, the what's, uh, what was it, the shooting that took place? Um, no, the, the Brewer, the Brewer County, Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one in front of Oh, dude, don't, yeah, don't get me fucking yeah, started yeah. on that, man. Do not. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we'll, we'll, say, we'll save that for some other time. <laughs> yeah, but, I'm, yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not, um, I'm not ready but, to dive into that one, but go ahead. Yeah, no, but uh, the point uh, that I wanted to make is that uh, because, you know, uh, as a lot of creators have been complaining about that 
they make uh, videos, you know, on said topics. And like, as you said, you know, they're too busy trying to do that thing yeah. instead of, you know, trying to communicate with, with us about, you know, and trying to get actual data and whatnot. So I'm totally with you there on that one. <clears throat> I think I think you know when it comes to different YouTubers who who have I mean you you took Alex Jones as an example <laughs> before. I mean, as a meme he, as a meme <laughs> yeah I mean I mean he did he did say that the whole Sandy Hook thing was a hoax. Oh, he he's been on he's been on that train like for that. a long time, he, and once once he became more mainstream, he had he, to backtrack on it. He had to backtrack on it because he's just gonna lose all yeah. of his business, man. But I mean that I mean he, everybody knows that guy is a bit of a nut job. I mean, so it's He's still a I mean great at meme. least at least I, I, I hope people think that he he he's not really you know I don't really think he, he thinks that for real. He he yeah. can't believe that um, that was so, uh, wasn't real. So I mean here's really? a the here's the thing about Alex Jones. <clears throat> One of my friends is like really into the conspiracy theory realm. By the way, for the record, I'm not. But um, yeah. But um, he's he's like he's like he's like balls deep into it. And there is an actual there's an actual conspiracy theory saying that Alex Jones is actually Bill Hicks. If you're familiar with who Bill Hicks is. <laughs> What? No, but so just uh, I don't know who he is, but no, come on. Uh, hey, so there's some evidence that might suggest. <laughs> <laughs> dude dude all right like i'm not saying i believe it but the coincidences are kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie especially if you look at when he died and when alex jones finally rose to prominence they're both kind of like crazy libertarian types but at the same time um the fuck was there but at the same time um Bill Hicks is more of a lefty libertarian, whereas Alex Jones is kind of a righty yeah. libertarian. And it was like maybe it was like his way of trying to troll the world by being this over the top, like fucking wacko right winger who is like crazy on guns and like be so obnoxious. You couldn't believe it's real, but people did believe it was real. That's the whole like theory or whatever, yeah. you know? Wow. And, uh, interesting. I mean, I, I would. <sighs> I mean. If Russell, yes, uh, do me a favor and Google Bill Hicks. I mean, it, it's it's more it makes more sense if you know how he looks. Oh God, yeah, okay. absolutely, <laughs> right? Yeah, so 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 do that. Google Bill Hicks, and and I could I, I could kind of see it, you know, I could kind of see it. But I mean, Bill Hicks, he was kind of darker. He had like brown eyes. Mm -hmm. He wasn't. I, I don't know. Oh, don't oh, know. the Illuminati can do anything, my friend. <laughs> yeah, apparently. apparently. Yeah. Oh, Th God. These lizard people can shapeshift, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, so shit. I've heard. I, oh, shit. I, I, I see what you mean now. I've just seen the comparison. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, Bill Hicks, he died, I, I think, like, in the early 90s or something yeah. like that. Uh, like, not gonna lie, this is probably yeah. my favorite conspiracy theory. Period. Like, I I love it. Yeah. It, but it looks <laughs> it looks hilarious. It's something I'll probably check out after we've recorded this. But yeah. <laughs> but damn, that that that's pretty funny. Oh gosh, yeah. No, is, I'm not into is, the is. I'm not into the whole conspiracy theory shit either. But yeah, no. But um, but anyway, uh. Just to roll it back to uh, uh, YouTube again, I, I just want to uh, ask uh, from you, Mike. Um, now, how would you, uh, uh, just let's just assume you were somehow given the opportunity to be CEO of the platform? Uh, how how would you have gone about handling this entire uh, situation uh, since it started with the whole Wall Street Journal nonsense? Oh, you're okay. So we're going back even that far. Um, well, let, let me start by saying I am not remotely fucking qualified to be CEO of that platform. So let me just say that mm. up front. Whatever answer I give, probably take it with uh, all of the salt in the possible fucking world. Um, <laughs> either way, um, first thing I would do is... Oh shit, I don't even know. Because there's, there is a, a theory... Um, and I kind of like buying into it, honestly. 
uh, there was a theory that it, that whole outrage over the Wall Street Journal thing, because that was obviously, obviously taken out of context. Um, they were probably trying to renegotiate their ad rates. So they use this as an opportunity to say, oh, we're pulling out. And then YouTube says, no, 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 no. What do we have to do to make this better? And they're like, OK, well, you know, you could charge us less. So um, that could be part of it. Um, another thing, too, is like advertisers are less. They're, they're not fucking moral authorities and they don't really give a shit. As long as people like their brand, they're fine. Plain, plain and simple, yeah. Yeah. they they don't they don't have fucking morals. I mean, like maybe that's painting with too broad of a brush, but as a general rule, you know, most advertisers don't give a fuck. Um, so they want to look good to the public. So that could have been a little bit of a backlash because they really didn't understand what the fuck was going on. They didn't look into it. But at YouTube, you should say, "Hey, um, we know without a doubt." that this guy was taken out of context. But the issue is YouTube is already politicized, so they were probably in agreement with the Wall Street Journal doing what they did. So, I mean, that in and of itself, I'd be fired as the CEO of YouTube. So there, there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, deal. <laughs> yeah. What would I do if I was the CEO of YouTube? I would take all of PewDiePie's subscribers and make them mine and then run. <laughs> Then fucking run. Wouldn't <laughs> <Yeah>. real. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. no. Um, I didn't know about that theory. You know that uh, you you just uh, explained about um, what the Alex Jones one or what? Which one? <laughs> no, 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 no. The theory, the theory he mentioned now about uh, 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 the whole thing with the Wall Street uh, Journal being misinterpreted. Yeah. So no, not Alex Jones. <laughs> but um. Yeah, no, uh, I, I, I never heard about uh, that theory because most of the stuff that just gets uh, kind of pushed in front is just the, the usual uh, Wall Street Journal hit piece, corporate warfare, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, I mean, but, I um, mean, don't get me wrong. De uh, definitely a, a big part of it, too, was the Wall Street Journal trying to take down PewDiePie. And these advertisers were kind of using that as, as leverage. Uh, they're, they're being opportunistic, possibly. Um, I think also a big part of that, too, is i mean these guys talk to each other all of these big companies they talk to each other they're they're not just like in their different sectors yeah. they they're all involved with internal politics and government politics um i yeah. wouldn't be surprised if at&t and comcast were somehow involved with it i'm not saying this is the case i have no evidence of it um, I'm just yeah. saying I would not be surprised because YouTube is in competition with so many different um, different platforms and different establishment old money media and information exchange companies. Uh, it it yes. certainly wouldn't hurt them if YouTube went down a peg or two. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that is absolutely true. But uh, yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that. Uh, but the, again, as I said, that the theory I didn't know about. But uh, yeah, no, the uh, the whole thing being a hit piece against PewDiePie first, and then against the the platform as a whole was uh, just uh, plain insanity. But um, uh, gosh, how to how to put this? Uh, fuck. Now, nah, see, now I'm going like <clears throat> Mike. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, no worries, <laughs> man. Are you guys yeah. are you guys smoking weed or something? God, I wish. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, isn't it legal, by the way, where you live? It is Mike? not. Um, so, oh, it so is I mean, not. you guys okay. want to dive into you guys want to dive into weed? I'd be happy to talk about weed. Fucking I. I don't know anything about. Oh, weed, I, so. I know I know plenty. I used to be an enormous pothead, like big time, big big time. Oh, um, okay. So right now, um, with with um, before Donald Trump got into office, obviously lots of different places started legalizing medical, and just in like the last couple of years, there have been places that have been legalizing recreationally. So, um, well, I, sh I should say not not necessarily legalizing, but decriminalizing more specifically. Uh, some some places legalize, some oh, places yeah. decriminalize. It's like a, a weird fine line semanticism, but. Um, 
Yeah. So all, all of those places are like the individual states because the states can make their own laws on things. And the federal government technically does say it's illegal to have marijuana, to use marijuana, to have paraphernalia. But, um, hold on, pardon me. Mm. But the Obama administration wasn't enforcing it. <laughs> um, yeah. So now that Trump is in office and he has a new attorney general, uh, that attorney general is like super anti-marijuana, like extremely anti-marijuana. He's an, he's a fucking idiot, at least in that in that particular stance. I don't know why he has that viewpoint. If he really honestly believes it and he hasn't actually looked at the evidence, <laughs> like he's an idiot. Yeah. He's a, he's a fu- he's fucking ignorant at that point. <laughs> There's so much there's so much evidence that says that decriminalizing will not only cost the government less money. You want to talk about how fucking fiscally conservative you are. It'll cost less money. It'll actually keep more people out of prison. And there is the possibility to um, refocus our efforts instead of trying to turn these people into career criminals, trying to help them with a substance problem if they have one, if they have one to begin with. Most people that smoke weed don't have a fucking substance problem. They just want to fucking smoke weed. They're some of the most chilled out, and some of them are extremely smart people. And also, a lot of them are very productive. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't know the number yeah. of people that, that you actually know in real life who smoke weed and do amazing things. So shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> it's like, oh... <laughs> Gonna change. I'm gonna change the title of the podcast to "Weed Legal or Not." Right. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, that's your, that, that's because you fucked up, Russell. You 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 were losing whatever you were about that's to fine. say, and I can I kind of had to save the day by start talking. That's about fine. Weed. That's a, that's a okay, you know? man. That's a okay. But yeah, in, in my particular state, we're we're very much a very conservative state where I live. So that has that hasn't been legalized okay. yet, but I mean there are efforts to get there are efforts to get it done, and there's they're uh, pushing it uh, more and more every day. Mm-hmm. I mean that that that's a fight that the the right is going to lose, and it's a fight that the right really shouldn't be fighting anyway, because over two thirds of our country thinks it should be decriminalized. Over, over two thirds. Oh, okay. Do, so you th- you think it's a matter of time? It will yeah, happen. Yeah, I, I imagine it will be a matter of time. Okay. There actually is also a theory <laughs> going back to theories again. Um, that, <laughs> yeah, theory yeah, podcast. That <laughs> Do- Donald Trump is actually utilizing the attorney general to crack down on these uh, what what would be legal within the state um, marijuana distribution spots in order to force the hand of of Congress to actually pass a law to decriminalize it. I don't know that I necessarily agree with that, but if that is the case, it's kind of a brilliant strategy because Congress doesn't do shit. Mm. They argue with each other all the time. And I swear, I swear if Republicans, because like, okay, um, I was raised uh, conservative and Republican. I'm kind of in the middle now. But if Republicans fucking try and fight the decriminalization, like a majority of them, I will be so fucking mad. How many of them smoke weed on a regular fucking basis? How many of them do some hard <laughs> shit on a regular fucking basis? <laughs> like, mmm, mmm. Shit makes me real fucking mad, dude. Especially when there's so much evidence. There's so much evidence. We have actual pe- Petri dishes yeah. of places that have it decriminalized. And how much better, I wouldn't even say better off society is, but it's not fucking worse because of it. You can honestly say it won't be worse and you don't have to spend your time and resources and money to fight something that's not, that's a fucking uh, trumped up drama. It's it's faux. It's a faux enemy. Like stop, please. There's no reason. Mm. But I mean, I think th- that whole thing started with the war on drugs back in the. That World even that even started before it? then, man. That started well before then. Ah, uh, well, perhaps. It's, but I mean, they, they they invested a lot of money in that. Yeah, in the beginning. yeah, that was that was Reagan. That's that, that, that's that's well, when that, Reagan that, went like super yeah. hard on it. Yeah, because like through the '60s and '70s, it's kind of like a fuck it, whatever, you know. We'll, we'll probably bust these kids, but unless they're doing some crazy shit, like fuck it, we don't care. But yeah, it was it was really Ronald Reagan who went who went fully yeah. down that path. Um, but um, yeah. no, like where the actual stigma came from was, I believe William Randolph Hearst, the fucking uh, media mogul. Um, he was uh, had a huge newspaper. I forget which newspaper, but like it would have been like an equivalent of like CNN or Fox News, you know, like that that large, oh, that powerful. Sure. And um, I'm not sure how I'm not sure how true it is because I haven't looked into the the facts, but I've heard it from multiple places. Basically, 
he had his money invested in wood as the best way to make paper. Uh, and and th- there was a, yeah. a cheaper and more locally sourced way of making paper out of hemp and marijuana. So he, so yeah, he lobbied true. to actually make it outlawed. And then you have these fucking, um, what do you call it? These propaganda films like um, the, what's that weed, that weed one from like the 20s or the 30s? Uh, shit, I forget what it's called. Uh, oh well it's like it's on netflix and people watch it now out of humor because it's so fucking ridiculous like the, the way that they the way that they absolutely smeared people who smoke weed is it was so in, inaccurate it was hilarious you know <laughs> so so uh-huh. bad uh someone in the comments let me know which documentary that is i totally am, am drawing a blank ah uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but yeah, no, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, most of these weed law things went right over my head. <laughs> oh yeah, no worries. It's, but, it's not um, nearly as big of an issue um, over in your guys' countries, I believe. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Actually, uh, my one uh, buddy, uh, PJ, he's the guy who designed the new logo uh, for my channel. So shout out to him. <laughs> um, no, What's he, up, PJ? He, <laughs> he 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 uh, does um, he does uh, uh, some weed and uh, yeah no and like you, you said <laughs> uh, exposed <laughs> exposed <laughs> but uh, no but uh, uh, to what uh, Mike said no uh, he's one of uh, the most uh, chill dudes I know and also. Like you said, very creative, uh, very smart. He also produces his own music and stuff. So, yeah, I can see where Mike's coming from with that. And uh, also, obviously, my brother's pals with the people in Netherlands. Uh, that Obviously, that's like legal weed haven. So. Yeah. And also, <laughs> so also I want to... It's, it's really not legal weed haven, but but it, it, it is like in, in those shops anyway. I mean, you cannot do it anywhere besides those shops yeah really in yeah holland and and, oh, uh, so and you can't do it in your home and t- t- so it, no you can't be sitting on a restaurant just lighting it up no that's really but, not the way no, it no, works. no no not a public place like a restaurant like i mean like your house like, yeah i'm not so sure yeah, i'm not that. i'm not sure that really how I'm it not works sure. I, 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 I think it's, know, co- it's controlled both. by these coffee pla- uh, coffee shop places i, I think actually uh, okay. That's why it's okay because they they're providing it safely or whatever. I'm not sure something like that. And I I, yeah. I want to add into my side as well. Like obviously, I'm I'm in favor of decriminalization and making it available to people who want to use it as they see fit. But I mean, as a person who went through um, substance abuse myself, you know, I yeah. would absolutely say in tandem with that. We need to not only use it responsibly, but use community resources, whether that's through charity or I wouldn't necessarily even be against using it through a social means through the government, Um, making sure that people who do have problems with substance abuse get the help they need and invest further into mental health. Because I think even from a libertarian perspective, um, we're basically like keep the government out of anything unless there's some actual externality where you could infringe on someone else's rights. People with substance abuse are extremely more likely to be criminals, and that is an externality that could that yeah. could that could affect other people's rights. So, I mean, not only that, but I mean, just from the humanitarian aspect, I mean, let's fucking help these people out. Let's, let's get them the help they need. You know. Yeah. So, I, I definitely want want to put that out there. I'm not a libertine. I'm a libertarian. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. Russell, are you with us? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. No, um, yeah, geez, no. Uh, you see, I haven't had to deal with weed and stuff, so <laughs> I, I'm literally the stuff's flying over my head. So <laughs> no worries. No. But anyway, um, yeah, but no, but uh, gosh, uh, but the medicinal purposes, um. Isn't isn't weed supposed to like uh, help out with something like arthritis? I believe it can help out with a lot of things. And when they say medicinal, it's more of a uh, treats treats the symptoms. Weed doesn't really. Mm. I mean, there are people who say it cures cancer. The, there's no fucking evidence to support that. Okay, um, there it treats can it can treat the symptoms of cancer treatment. And, uh, I mean, it can, it can reduce, um, swelling in the eyeballs, which is a lot of time it's, it's, pre- um, prescribed for glaucoma. 
It can help people um, who have really dramatic seizures. It can stop seizures, you know. So, I mean, there, there are multiple medicinal uses for it. Or even if you just get a CBD oil, which has no, uh, no THC, which is the psychoactive drug in marijuana, uh, even if you just get CBD oil, that can be used to treat things for pain. It can help you just relax in general before you go to bed. Uh, it can help reduce anxiety. Uh, there, there's really many benefits if we actually sat down and did more research on it and allowed the, the market to kind of find out its strong points and its weak points and make different products for it, which is where we're, we're headed. There's plenty of uses for it that are more cost effective and honestly better for you than some of the more chemical alternatives. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I could definitely see see that. Okay, all right. Um, gosh, I'm trying to uh, think now. Uh, shit. Um, now, now, you say they uh, make it into, like, different products and stuff, so... Um, like I assume some of it would uh, be in the like you now you said some's in an oil uh, yeah and some of it you actually would uh, because uh, there's a, there is a funny enough uh, I watch some of this guy's videos but it's like only when it pops up in my feed uh, and, <laughs> and it's a, it's quite a funny YouTube name uh, have you ever heard of a reaction channel uh, uh, guy by the name of um, nearly senior it's nearly senior citizen yet a gamer no. Sounds great, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's a weird ass channel name. No, but shame, uh, it's the it's this old guy, um, and uh, he does reaction videos, but uh, uh, he has uh, all sorts of you know health problems, and one of the things that he uh, keeps doing in some of his videos is he's prescribed. Um, I, I don't know how to describe what it looks like, but it is cat uh, 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 th- uh, like a device that's got some cannabis that you load into it and it uh i think it helps uh like as he said with his joints and i think with the uh his short-term memory or something like that mm-hmm. but um i can't say for sure because i only watch his videos like every once in a while then they get recommended on my feed but uh yeah that's like my knowledge on weed as a whole is basically that stuff that <clears throat> comes from memes or yeah. just from whatever my buddy pj has told me it's not it's not really something i've look too deep into because like i've never tried it myself i mean i'm sure i had i had uh, uh friends in school that did it but i mean uh, they never really talked about it much they were just they just like rock up to school the next day and be like oh yeah what's up man <laughs> you know <laughs> that's uh, that's about you can it. definitely tell you've never smoked weed <laughs> <laughs> yes yes when, that, when that's your I've when that's your impression I've... of a pot smoker <laughs> yeah that's why i said through meme through memes and you know certain other people but uh otherwise no nah, I, I i wouldn't I would, I'd, I'd suck if you if you called me in to a voice acting uh booth and say okay you got to do a stoner now or something like that i i, I i'd be fine lot, within the first two seconds like okay you can't do it. a lot of times if they're gonna <laughs> ask you to specifically emulate a stoner they're gonna want the stereotype anyway so i mean you know probably probably unless, unless they're trying to go full oscar with it <laughs> but yeah no um full oscar you know uh the oscars claudio the oscars that's going for who's oscar <laughs> but, hey, who the fuck is oscar I mean. <laughs> the only oscar i know is uh what was it um ruby so yeah that's the only oscar i know but um ah, all right the, the only oscar i know <laughs> um, is oscar the grouch from fucking sesame street that's the only one i know oh oh so, yes so oscar is not it's not a it's not a common name over there or i have never i have, ne- well, I have yeah, never so met an oscar good. ever really, really? neither of i that is fucking weird i have like four or five friends who are named oscar. no shit it's pretty 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 common name over here are they all green and green and green and fuzzy and pissy and live in trash cans yeah (laughs) yeah no they don't actually (laughs) that's the only image i get when i see someone Uh, named oscar that's probably why there's no one named oscar in america is because every time we think oscar we think the grouch it is so ingrained into us to see this fucking fuzzy yeah but that 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 could that could actually that that could actually be it i think so how how many people do you know call adolf (laughs) fuck no i don't (laughs) Fuck and no! I don't I know. think you do. You used to back in the day yeah, until one of them fucking murdered tons of people. 
<laughs> he tried to conquer yeah, the fucking that, world. That name was fucking out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. You're not, no, no. Or like, how many people do you know with the last name of Hitler? Or Hitler? You know, th- those names got changed real fucking quick. Um, not too many. Not too many. I'll, but that is fucking weird. But, I mean, if you look it, if you look it up, like it. I mean, how many people? How, who would fucking name their kid Adolf? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you I know? think the name sucks anyway. And that, that and that was a common name. I mean, Adolf was a common name. He was as common as Alfred. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So it was really common. Uh, but that that but came you, to an end really fucking quick. Thank God. I think you have a point there, though, Claudio, about uh, you know um, that uh, the that TV show is probably the reason why no one's named that. Because I mean, yeah. you just uh, uh, now in, it's a kind of the reverse with this particular one. But uh, you know, uh, the Disney film Frozen. Yes. You yeah. like yeah like you literally cannot believe how many people decided it would be a good idea to now name their daughters Elsa or Anna. Like oh my okay. gosh, I'm like. Don't really? get me wrong, Elsa. El- yeah, like, Elsa. Those is, names are really common. Over Elsa here. is an extremely oh. beautiful name, but um, fuck that movie for for making like just fuck that movie i i watched i the first time i watched it i was like eh, it's okay it's a dumb fun movie there's plenty of plot holes and it's not that great and the olaf character kind of annoys the fuck out of me because you can you can tell they're for <laughs> you can tell they're forcing him on you as a cute character they're, it's not like natural like the golden age of disney when like the funny characters were just funny He's like, look at me. Yeah. I'm fucking adorable. I do nothing at all in this movie, but just be fucking adorable. Look at me. I'm selling toys. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, fuck, fuck you, dude. But um, <laughs> and you just, and with that, you just triggered every uh, frozen. I I fucking hope so. I fucking hope so. Wake up, please. <laughs> What they what they they like Frozen in your audience or what? In, in my well, oh, I did uh, I did make a free few Frozen AMVs in the early days of my channel, but now that's long over. So and that's what it is. Like I, <laughs> that's I, I don't I, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't I don't hate I don't hate the movie for the movie I, itself. I hate the fandom that has surrounded it. It's it's so obnoxious. Yeah, it's really not that good of a movie yeah. in, in in any measure of what makes a movie good. It's not plain and simple. The, I, I watched it, I watched it once. I didn't think it was that bad, but I, I didn't think it was good at as uh, really that good either. I thought uh, I thought Tangled I thought Tangled name, was a I thought though. Tangled was a better movie. Honestly, I thought Tangled was a much better movie. Oh, Tangled was pretty I good. Uh, that, that's the that. Rapunzel oh, version. Oh, you haven't seen it. Uh, uh, okay. No, I, I what, what I remember for that from uh, the Frozen movie was that uh, it took a lot of. Uh, how do you say? It was very inspired by the no- Norse. Yes. Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Yeah. Uh, not only way of living, yeah. but a little bit myth- the myth- mythology part. And and the names, because Anna is like... Uh, it's so common. Extremely common here, Anna. And, and Elsa. Actually, old ladies are called Elsa here, but it's coming back now. Hey, again. if you can find me a, a beautiful <laughs> freaking... Northern European bride named Elsa to hit me up. Give me the digits. I, that, I think that name. I think that name. I think that name is so sexy. I, I will definitely say that. <laughs> uh, yeah. She, 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 she be too much. She be too mature for you, man. Uh, you, you, the gir- girl. The girls are not called Elsa here. Old ladies are called Elsa. You it's can, coming back you now can, with you little can, kids. You can find you know, me when, when, a, a sexy, when, divorced, single milf named Elsa. <laughs> hit, hit her, hit her she, she's gonna, she's gonna be in her, she's gonna be in her eighties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the problem. So that's the problem because the the, the, the name was fa- it was really popular. Like, right, if they're named El- if they're named exactly. Elsa, I'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. Well. <laughs> Gosh. you know names come and they go like in cycles yeah yeah uh you missed out on elsa over here at least I'm damn it damn it so now, now little kids like seven eight year olds ten year olds are okay i, abs- I absolutely so i absolutely back, draw you know? the line there <laughs> i would say that absolutely draw the line there <laughs> For the record, well, just just hold on for like another eight years, and you'll be good. I, uh, no. no. Oh, by the way, the legal age of consent Mike. here is eighteen. 
just so you know. <laughs> yeah, it's the same here. Same oh, here. Yeah. So guys, th- guys, that's what I'm telling you. Hold out for another eight years and you'll I'm, be good. I'm, I'm, yeah. Exactly. And guys, and guys listening, the, those listening, those of you, the anime fans listening, know Mike is not a lollycon. So don't don't type that in the I'm comments. Not, what? <laughs> a what? A what? A what? A lollycon. A lollycon. Oh, that's beyond yeah, me. You know what that is? If you don't know what it is, you can't okay. afford what kind it. Of, uh, weeb, lolly- what kind of weeb shit is this? I don't this? know. <laughs> A, a it's lot. some weeb shit. I know it. I'm I just know to it. Explain the weeb shit. <laughs> no, um, the, a lolicon is essentially like uh, an older dude who has a thing for like really, really young girls, Ew. like like oh, little kids. Jesus. Yeah. So that's Ew. why I said Mike is not a lolicon. So, not so remotely. Please don't type that in the no. comments. <laughs> no, not remotely. <laughs> you ain't into that. I, I looked shit. at the definition online here. It wasn't pretty, man. Moving, moving on, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> so, any new records out lately we should know about besides the new demo record? No, nothing. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. The, the, oh, by the way, what did you think of that uh, new demo Borges song? What did you think of the that? new what? Ah, it was interesting. Interesting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they haven't done anything in like six seven years, so it was yeah, a long time I yeah. heard them. Uh, but it was it was a cool song, but it was demo, you know. It was nothing more, nothing less. Not I thought it was... of it. Do not I mm. thought of it? It's like now, obviously, you remember the album they released uh, seven years ago. The, what was it called? Uh, Abra da Habra. Uh, now something a like lot, that. <laughs> a lot of people shat on that album i remember a lot of people shat on that album like a whole lot and i was like ah it's not bad that's actually quite decent but then they released this new song and then they're like they hyping it up on facebook dimmer burger every post is like oh we're going back to the roots of norwegian black metal and this is gonna be our best yeah, shit since nah, I yeah on. yeah yeah and the moment i heard the song i sat there i listened to it and then i'm like is this symphonic black metal or is this symphonic pop metal? I have no fucking clue because yeah. it did not sound any. And I and I was actually talking to um uh one of the guys on the uh, channel um two to tags metal reviews. Uh, I was just talking to one of the guys and uh, <laughs> uh we literally said about this uh, song like okay, well at least if this album turns out to be shit uh which the single is leading me to believe, but I mean, the rest of the album yeah. might be good. We don't know. But uh, if this album turns out to be shit, at least finally, at last, we can, uh, people can stop shitting on Abra da Habra because at least Abra da Habra was at least somewhat uh, seemed like black metal, whereas this was like, I'm like, what, what was this? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I haven't really listened to I I heard the song a few times and I was like, yeah. I've been yeah. listening a lot to a lot to uh, um, Threshold actually. Oh yes, you know, the, yeah. Threshold. Legends of the what's Legends the, the of the Shires. Of the, yeah, yeah. I will listen to that a, a lot. It's pretty good. I like it actually. I love that album. Yeah. My gosh, it's it's a oh. good it's a good album. It, it has co- cool elements. The the whole progressive part around the songs is very good. Yeah, dude, like it was that. one of the best uh, prog albums of last year, uh, not including, um, what was it, uh, Wide Eyes, their album Paradoxica. Uh, I don't know if mm. uh, you, uh, I shared that, that band with you, Mike, uh, Wide Eyes, but uh, if you're into um, Animals as Leaders and Periphery, you'd uh, very much dig their stuff. Oh, rock and roll. Yeah, I was say, you, <laughs> you guys have lost me here. I haven't been keeping up on what's new in the prog world, man. <laughs> I have been. Hmm. Really? <laughs> you should you should check out uh, Shreth, uh, Threshold. I mean, they're, they're not new in the prog world. I mean, those dudes have been uh, have been doing this since like, the late eighties. So uh, but it's definitely. But they release. They, they don't release records all that often. That's. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's that's pretty common in this uh, in this realm. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the the amount of sinners they've had, because the sinner who was on Legends of the Shires, I believe he was one of their very early vocalists who yeah, has yeah, come yeah, back. Yeah. yeah, 
So, and he's got a yeah. really good voice. Uh, like, I mean, it's very not, good voice. Like, I, I'll, I'll admit because I went back and checked some of the albums that came prior to this one. I'll admit he hasn't got, you know, like one hundred percent, you know, the soaring range. But he has got a very, no, has very character. good voice. He, he has, has character. character. And he has he has a, a presence that the other singer lacked. Even yeah. though he, even though the older singer he had like the high notes <laughs> and all that shit, it sounded kind of like meh, like like <laughs> what I did just now. <clears throat> yeah. This dude has a really good power, really good range. It, it sounds nice. Yeah. And also, I, I know why these guys don't release records that often. It's because fucking their guitar player is called Groom. I did not know that until I started reading up on them, and. It, turns out that this guy called Groom is their guitar player and he's a producer he's done like a bunch of whatever can you I don't know what what uh, music you could listen to that he's done a uh, Dragon Force among others oh really he, he yeah he produced their whole sound he, he made those guys the whole mm. uh, guitar hero shit with the, the, the through the fire and flames through for flames and f that's that's yeah. his fucking fault <laughs> that's his fault <laughs> that's his fault <laughs> Yeah, that's his, that's his fault. So if you want to blame anyone, blame him. And that's why he's not... Uh, <laughs> that's why he's not uh, as active with the Threshold as he should be. He's a really good guitar yeah. player. He's an amazing producer. And he really... You know, you can hear it on the, the, the popular songs like uh, Small Dark Lines on that record. It's really catchy and it mm. it really shows a little bit of the progginess and the thing. You know, he, he, he's a really good songwriter. So yeah. yeah, it was a good record. It was a good record. You should check it out if you yeah, haven't. Yeah, I definitely will, man. Uh, um, I my yeah. my I'll ears and my time are so fucking occupied as of late. But um, every once mm. in a while, I'm able to catch an album or two. It's one of the reasons why I started Song Suggestion Friday is because I had so many people asking me to listen to shit. I'm just like, okay, stop. <laughs> Let's do it over here in this one thing, <laughs> yeah. and. I, I can actually <laughs> listen to some of these and I can tell you guys to listen to things. So it's kind of like a music share type of thing. And mm -hmm. now, now it's yeah. like, now it's just fucking irritating is what it is. It, it, is, it is my least favorite show to do every week it is by far my least favorite show to do. It's just fuck it. Uh, but, but, uh, uh, your new, new, your newer projects, like your, your snub cast and everything like that, um, seem to be going uh, really well because I, I, I actually enjoyed your first two episodes that you put out. I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate that. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just trying to, yeah. I'm trying to, there's lots of people that I know in my life who have lots of awesome insight and also who are just really fun people to, to get to know. Um, who who in combination i want to bring them on so that i can have conversations about things that i can't do videos on like i'm not going to do a, i'm not going to yes. do a whole video on jared dines there's there's nothing nothing the music <laughs> snob can talk about there we can like nail that out in like a five minute conversation you know yeah. or, <laughs> but um you know also on, on top of that there are plenty of local artists in, in Nashville who are super, super talented that I'm friends with. And I want to be like, hey, like, listen to these guys, please. Like, go, go listen. It's great shit, please. Like the first two got the first two guests I had were two great prog bands in Nashville. And that's like half of, that's like half oh. of the prog bands in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you were you were living in Nashville, right? Yes, sir. Have you heard anything about uh, about the thing with Gibson? Uh, that they're gonna sell uh, some of the, or, or they are selling out some of the the uh, what's it called, like warehouses? Yeah, some have, some of their stock, has... their the resources. I, I heard some. I heard something yeah. about their like in, an extreme amount of debt and. Um, they're, they're, the quality, the yeah. quality of their stuff's yeah, been like going they're, down. They're basically facing back, bankruptcy at yeah. this point. I don't, I don't know why, so, but um, yeah, I, 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 I have heard that. I. I have definitely I. heard that, and that's fucking crazy because they're one of the fucking <clears throat> top guys. That they're the top dog, basically. I mean, Gibson and Fender. I mean, yeah, come those, on. those are the names. It's man you should if you if you don't have one already you should really get ahead and get a custom while you're while they still exist in that oh we've already 
We've already run some... through this left-handed thing. We've already run through it. Which uh, actually, <laughs> by the way, the I, I finally yeah. was able to play a Gibson Les Paul, an actual left-handed Gibson oh, Les Paul. Cool. It was like an eight, it was like eight hundred dollars. Yeah. It was just like flat black, no no uh, clear coat finish or anything, just flat black. Oh, a studio? Um, I don't think it was a studio. I, I think it was like some, something else. Okay. But either way, I mean, it sounded pretty dang nice and it played really dang nice. I, I enjoyed it for, for different tonal aspects. But I mean, would I drop 800 bucks on it? If I'm going to drop money on a Gibson, I'm going to get something that's at least 1500 bucks, you know? It's one of the reasons why I don't really yeah. buy guitars anymore. It's because it's not worth it for me to buy like a six hundred or nine hundred dollar guitar. It's not really, not really any point to it at that point. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, um, oh, yeah. And uh, Mike, uh, uh, going back to when you said uh, you know spreading round, go listen to this shit. Um, that guy you did a video on, the guy who uh, uh, Vilri, what's he Vilri. Vilri, Vilri, he's yeah. the shit. Yeah. I, I actually showed I actually showed him uh, to my dad because my dad's a huge you know Sinatra uh, buff mm-hmm. you know and uh, dude fucking awesome shit uh, thanks so much for that recommendation dude absolutely like, no, my dad, absolutely my dad's hooked on that shit and there there's <laughs> even more to it than just try like he's good so get get his name out there that's a big part of it but another part of it too is he's he's using an element of music that has left a lot of modern music and that that goes cross genre is just everything is so fucking mechanized now <clears throat> and he's extremely raw he's extremely human and still beautiful and very moving so i mean it's relatively simplistic when you actually break it down but it doesn't fucking matter because that's not the point of it you know it's in it's in yeah. the articulation it's in the feel so i don't know that 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 that's a human element that we're missing that I think should be fused back into uh, our, our modern music today, you know? Yes. Mm. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree with you there. But yeah, no, uh, like, again, I, I showed it to my dad and uh, yeah, he was, he was absolutely hooked on it because uh, also, you know, being uh, raised in that time period, like, as you say, where it's a lot simpler, a lot more human. Yeah. Did, you he, know, did he buy an album? Even, did he buy uh, the album? With, <laughs> no, you didn't buy the album. No, but, uh, gotta, gotta buy that merch. Buy that I, merch. You gotta buy, buy that, that merch. merch. <laughs> Got to. Link in bio. Link in bio. <laughs> Link in bio. Fucking. Man. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah. I sh- I should uh, step on that. But yeah, no. Um. Oh gosh. Uh, wh- what else was I gonna say? Uh, but I uh, I think uh I I think it's interesting that uh, uh like you pointed out in the video that he still uses some uh old equipment or if not old equipment like modern equipment that can imitate that because when you were ma- when you were talking about that in your video it actually reminded me of I don't know if you watch uh any of Rob Scallon's videos but uh, every Rob once in a Scallon, while um yeah. But it, uh, Rob Scallon did a few, uh, I think two or three videos recently where they tried recording uh, metal music through like you know those old, yeah um, the old the, the old phonograph type yeah, thingy cool. yeah <clears throat> or gramophone it was an old gramophone yeah. fuck yeah dude that was yeah. so cool that was really fucking cool <laughs> at first I was like it I really don't, was at first I, like I don't want to click on this because I know it's clickbait and then I watched it I'm like I'm so happy I watched this <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck that was fucking cool yeah. man and. Uh, and the comments, I was reading the comments below that video. I love how the one person commented below there. He said, like, uh, looks like black metal's got a new uh, standard of recording now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> that is fucking amazing. Uh, if, if that was on my channel, but, yeah. I would have put all of the love and pinned that fucking comment for days. <laughs> that is outstanding. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, but that it is um, very interesting, as I say, to learn about like uh, the, how music used to be produced back in the day, recorded and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's uh, um, it, what more can I say about it? I, I I I was totally on board with the whole human element thing. It, it's um, there's also that I don't know if you've seen that. Uh, there's actually some uh, uh, songs that are being written by computers. I don't know if you see those articles, probably all those videos. Have you ever seen them? Um, 
how are you specific are you specifically are you specifically talking about songs written by computers or like the little robots playing songs that are pre-programmed no 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 like songs that are actually written by computers okay. like uh, there was okay, actually yeah, a video I'm, I'm, I'm familiar it was I'm on, familiar yeah it was it was on facebook uh, this one particular v- uh, video, but uh, this computer actually wrote the most complex, uh, you know, you know, math, math metal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it wrote this super overly complex shit. And I was like listening to this and I'm like thinking like, oh, my God, this sounds so much like um, like it, normally when a human being plays it, you can kind of feel that groove in it, you know, mm-hmm. but uh, this sounded like <laughs> like, pure ma- like real legit. Einstein mathematical noise and I was like oh gosh uh, oh, I mean, it's one, one of the reasons why I'm not a fan of math metal it's one of the reasons why I mean like I, <laughs> what is math metal is it like Dillinger escape plan stuff like that yeah. uh, I, I don't yeah, know I don't know of, if okay. they fully qualify it's like stuff that's so so very precise so random and technical that like it, like we were talking about, starts to lose that human element. I feel like some some Dillinger Escape Plan actually does have some human element to it sometimes, but um, mm. yeah. I mean, it feels feels like it was made by a machine, which like is a cool feat to do, and I think there's a place for it and everything. But like making that the trend, and it's like that kind of bothers me, you know. Yeah. Um, as, as far yeah. as that goes, and, uh, as far as uh, music made by computers. There's this really awesome app um, that my buddy has. I forget if it's actually an app or just a website. It's called Degen. It's like D-J-E-N. And uh, you yeah. can like pick the style, like what band you want it to sound like, pick what part of the song, pick the time signature, and pick the feel. And then it'll randomly generate an exact piece for you with bass, drums, and guitar. Like You could literally write a whole fucking gent song just with that app. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> like the, like that auto rap uh, app that a comedy shorts gamer used on the one episode of his. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but uh, with that being said, man, uh, I don't know if you you know of these things. Are you? Do you know of Vocaloids? Of what? Vocaloids. Uh, Here he goes again with the fucking weeb <laughs> stuff. <laughs> It's actually he's not, weaving. It's, he's it's weaving. It's actually yeah. not as weeb as you think. Come on, it's so weeb. You know it's. Dude, weeb. I want to. I want to no, use dude, the phrase. I want to use the phrase. Go weeb into your your fucking tissues, you little weebo. That that, <laughs> that, 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 would, that seems like that would fit. It's 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 like a it's like a <sighs> Japanese voice. Uh, voice happy bank. girl pop. Voice. Is it a is it a it's is a it a box is it a box yeah. like a pedal? Yeah. No. It's a. It's a it's computer. A, it's, what, what's the name? What's the name of the fucking Japanese girl with purple hair singing? You mean Miku? Uh, blue hair. Mi- uh, Miku. Uh, Hatsune Miku. Yeah. No. I. I yeah. know. I, I'm yeah. very. I'm that's very familiar a, with that. Vocal. Yeah. That, that's a little. A little pedal you can use. Um. They. They actually. Oh, they actually pedal. have okay. that. Uh, uh. Samurai guitarist is going to talk about that on uh, our podcast because he uses that. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I thought, oh, dude, it was God. hilarious. He did it for my heart will go on. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> Oh. It was so good. Like um, he 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 did a video, which actually is one of his biggest videos, like weird guitar pedals, and that was one of them. And he he liked it so much, he wound mm-hmm. up keeping it because like he he doesn't he doesn't like his singing voice. I haven't heard it, but um, yeah, he's he's not a fan <laughs> of it, so he uses that as like his singing voice, yeah. as, like a, a comedy type thing, you know. Yeah, because you, okay. you know, um, when it comes to Vocaloid, now obviously when I was like younger, my teenage years. Like, there were a few songs that would be like, oh, okay, this sounds uh, catchy and stuff, despite, you know, the obvious, you know, robotic sound in voice. <laughs> but now I really just cannot stand Vocaloid, and I really don't, like, I mean, I guess there is a certain appeal element to it, like, for, for maybe, like, a concert thing or something like that. But other than that, I, like, most Vocaloid artists, like, very few of them are actually good in my opinion so but that's because like, it's because it's, it's a it. novelty it's not actually anything that's really useful or creative in, in any real sense and that's why like samurai mm. guitarist using it as like a joke type thing is is hilarious to me yeah. you know it, it's just funny and fun um if, if you're trying to say oh yeah. i'm a vocaloid artist i'd be like okay 
you're not gonna last long. <laughs> plain and simple. Plain and simple. Not not to be a dick, but I mean, you like there's upload that shit to. Oh god, like yeah, just like I'm like sorry. don't 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 uh, put all of your don't pull, put put all of your eggs in this basket, bro. <laughs> like do not. <laughs> oh my, I didn't know he's an actual pet. I, I thought it was like a. V, like a VST, like, like a VST, like a plugin or something. I'm for, I'm for, sure uh, there is. I mean, all it is really is just a piece of. Well, all it really yeah. is a piece of software and a fucking um, on a piece of silicon. You know, that's really all it comes down to. But yeah, I mean, the the one that Samurai Guitarist has is fucking hilarious. The uh, the the Miku Pedalu, it's fucking great. <laughs> the Miku yeah. Pedalu, but, um, <laughs> it's a Kuru <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, um, uh, but yeah, no. Uh, uh, what was I going to say, man? Um, but, uh, did you know, again. <laughs> dude, dude, you can call me weeb all you fucking want. I own that shit, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, I think, I think the funniest thing is how you pronounce it. You say it, weeaboo. <laughs> like, like, weeaboo. like where, where we come from is this weeboo. But I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Silence A, like the je- uh, like the uh, the silent D and gent. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, gosh, um, well, no, what was I gonna say? Oh, yes, um, but did uh, I don't know if you know that uh, DJ, uh, what's his name, Porter Robinson? Uh, he uses them actually quite a lot, surprisingly. I'm not familiar. And um, not just Porter Robinson. I cannot remember. Who's that Who's that guy who uh, collaborated with um, uh, Daft Punk on that song, you know, We Apple Not To Get Lucky? Uh, I have no idea. Phil- oh, well, anyway. I have no idea. He's a uh, famous... Well, I know, I know who you're artist. talking about. Are you talking about uh, Porter Robinson, the guy who did the song with Medea, the, the French electro artist? Uh, I think so, yeah. And he also had that yeah, yeah. whole anime music video thing yeah that, yeah, yeah he did shelter that. Yeah. yeah but but he he uses it he uses it very gently kind of in the background yeah of a, a real voice as an effect not as a lead that's the difference you know mm. if, if you if, if you if you use it as a lead like like her, what's her name miku yaka miku yeah, yeah, miku. Uh, uh, then miku, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah then it sounds kind of weird but yeah. he uses it really nicely uh, in his uh, music mm. And it kind of fits the electro vibe that he's going with. Yes. You know, but he, he, even so, there's a real person in front of, like, singing there. It's not only the, 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 yeah, the, the, pedal, the you know, the, the, yeah, the, pedal the voice thing. bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. It's so weird. Yeah. No, I, I was just wondering what Mike maybe thought of it because, like, in my younger days, I was kind of into it, but then, like, you know, just as time went on, I was just like, no, nah, I've got to have, like, a real human voice there. I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, do an artificial voice unless, I don't know, you do it as a as a cool intro with narration for robots or something. I don't know. But other than that, <laughs> for Cine, no. I mean, like, if you, if you make it your whole thing, that that's, like, that's your um what's the word your showcase like a lot of times the 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 vocals are like the the main attract not attraction what am, what am i fucking they're like they're they're up in front of the song you know that's the thing that you're paying the most mm. attention to if you're doing the same thing with your your yeah. vocaloid or whatever i mean that's just dumb i mean really because there's no every song is going to be the same the only thing that's going to be different is the notes that you choose and when when you decide to play them there's no um finesse there's no change in articulation it's just dead flat pan yeah, the same yeah. thing all the time so there's no there's no there's nothing yeah. interesting it's like, like okay i get it that's why it's a novelty it's like oh that's fun three songs later okay this is annoying yeah. please stop you know <laughs> but yeah and uh, I don't know if you know this, uh, but believe it or not, um, they've actually tried making, you know, Vocaloid metal songs. Oh, God. And you must see, it's so weird when they use uh, Hatsune Miku, like they actually try and make the, uh, the, uh, the voice bank do growls. Like, it sounds <laughs> so fucking weird. It sounds more like, you know, static distortion when... Um, yeah uh you know yeah when the radio goes dead mm-hmm. but 
almost like a demonic sounding one and not like in a cool way where you'd be like oh yeah that's fucking metal dude that's all like what the fuck's going on yeah <laughs> because uh i don't know i just cannot stand vocaloid metal like i mean ugh. gosh i just keep the regular vocals so, so some I mean, people some people actually go for the most horrendous sound possible so that's probably where that market is honestly <laughs> black metal <laughs> no even even worse than black metal <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that was. I'm, I'm, I'm actually um, work. Gosh, I'm yeah. actually working on a um, working on a song for a patron right now, and um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to spoil what it is. But I mean, the message of the song is supposed to be like very anti current music industry, and pardon me, and talking about mm. how cookie cutter it is, how fake it is, and how like we should break the mold. And the song itself is like a very traditional cookie cutter rock and roll song. So I was like, okay, we got to prog this up a bit to prove a point. And um, I'm going to have like a super proggy bridge and partway through, it's just going to be this absolutely gross, disgusting, uncomfortable to listen to uh, breakdown part. Like it's, it's going to be fat. It's going to be so fat. And it's like, it's literally gross. As Ryan, as Ryan said, it's going to be dirtier than Martha Stewart's dividends. It's a fucking hilarious line. by the way. <laughs> Oh, that sounds that sounds very interesting, dude. That sounds fucking. Oh, awesome. it, once it once it's done, <laughs> once it's done, just wait. But oh, cannot wait already. <laughs> but speaking of music that um you know is so you know how do you say mm -hmm. dark, gross, filthy, whatever you want to describe mm -hmm. that you couldn't listen to it. Like, oh, <laughs> what would you say is like the worst one you've listened to? Because the other day I played a song that was supposed to be um like death metal or something or at least they said so but when they played it like now i've heard lots of death metal but i don't know how these guys were recording it or how they decided to mix it but i honestly thought i was listening to some kind of i don't know lovecraftian horror shit coming out from some kind of abyss i i literally i couldn't get past the first minutes of the song i was like okay this shit's fucking making my skin crawl i had to like put it off. So what would be that be like for you? I have no idea. Hmm. I mean, weird things irritate me. Like um, when Song Suggestion Friday goes up, you'll some people are going to be mad, and that's <laughs> fine. I don't really give a shit. <clears throat> but I talk I talk a lot of shit on this one song by Pink Floyd, and it's not because it's a terrible song. It's because it's twenty two minutes long and fucking obnoxious and pretentious. There's no reason that needs to be that long. I don't give a fuck what what reasoning. Someone tries to use to justify it. It's not that interesting. That is irritating for me to listen to and ugly. Not because it is actually irritating and ugly, but because it's wasting my fucking time. <laughs> and there actually were there actually <laughs> were parts that were actually physically irritating me. Like I was literally like, I, I'm gonna stop this. I'm actually gonna stop this song and not finish it. Like it, it was really making me mad. So it's very it's very very rare that a song can do that so kudos to pink floyd at least for that but i don't think their their intention was to be trolls so <laughs> yeah listen man if you want to listen to something awesome <laughs> i said su i suggest niango star i have no idea what that is ni 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 niango star that is fucking that is fucking great niango star is this uh he's like a dude in a human costume basically in oh, japan God. he's the really like the biggest thing oh, right now oh yes he's a, he's a about. you know what that is yes he was the, yes the of course drummer. you do you fucking <laughs> <weak>. <laughs> i saw that shit on your channel and I was yeah. like, my God, I'm going to share this on Twitter yeah, with everyone. <laughs> oh, my God. That shit was fucking weird. You know, it actually, it's like this. A friend of mine sent me a video. He's like, dude, you have to watch this Nyango, Nyango star. Nisan you no Rokunen. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was, I was like, all right. So he sent me the video and he, he, he told me that specifically, dude, promise me you record your reaction when oh, you watch God. it. And I'm like, all right, sure, I'll do that. And oh my god. <laughs> you should really take a look, man. Niango Star 2017. Oh god. It's a 
Uh, it's a kid's. Uh, what do you call it? It's not a plushie, obviously, but it's like a. It's a costume, like it's it's a person in a costume. It's like a right? mascot costume of sorts. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he looks like a like a big heart or like a like a <laughs> fluffy some something, you know. And 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 uh, he <clears throat> plays the drums to to kids' music, right? So that's his thing. He plays the drums to kid music, and he's keeping the beat, and it's. You know, every now and then he kind of like starts racing a little bit and then he brings it back and it goes on for a while and then he, he totally fucking loses it. He fucking totally loses it. He starts grinding. Oh, God. <laughs> like the double pedal is like at the max and he's doing like fucking really corpse grindy kind of stuff. You know? And it's so fucking okay. funny. The two beats, the blast beats and everything, you know? And it's it's, it's become a thing in Japan now. Uh, and they're playing like big arenas, which is fucking weird. Wow. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Yeah. Gosh. That's but... Japan, man. Yeah, <laughs> Japan. Nyang, Star. It reminds yeah. me of like that, that, no, that exercise that was... video with like the poodles. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, no, I've seen it on multiple it. channels, but um, there's like this really weird exercise video, and like I think it was like it like sponsored by the Olympics or something. It was like it's like from the the 90s, and it's this little this little Japanese girl who's like speak she's speaking English, and uh -huh. she has like <clears throat> this weird costume on where like her arms and her her uh, forearms are like extra bulged out, and she's in like the fucking the tight. The, the tight um, exercise suit or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Maybe a leotard or something. And, th and then she walks oh, out and there's yeah. a bunch of people wearing poodle costumes that looks too real. Like they look, they almost look like they're actually poodles oh, there. Really? Oh, fuck. I know what you're talking about. Yes, like, yes, 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 yes. It's so yes, yes. fucking weird. That shit, that shit is, f yeah, that's good. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was awesome. It's because it was so what the fuck. Uh, like, it's creepy, creepy. <laughs> uh, but the Japanese adverts are just so mind fucking. It's like yeah, you, know, you just watch one and you're like, what am I? Am I on planet Earth for still or something? Yeah. Like my gosh, the ones I've seen in the ones I've seen in Try Not to Laugh compilations. Like I mean, there was this one weird ass one where it shows all these uh, kids they running across a field and they all got like a glass in their hands, you know, like a drinking glass. They're all running across the field, and the next thing you know, you see this um, this UFO like come flying over the field and hovering over you know the spot where these kids stop. So all these kids stop, and then they all hold up their glass to their uh, to, to towards the UFO. They hold up their drinking glasses to the UFO, and then the 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 bottom part of the UFO opens, and now you know you'd expect like maybe aliens to beam down or some shit like that. Fucking. <laughs> Yeah, just just giant fucking adder, a cow's adder, like with the one nipple thing that pops out, squeezes and it rains milk into the kid's glass. Oh my and god! Stop fucking drinking from it, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> what is this? Uh, that's that. That's that uh, raw milk craze. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, no. <laughs> down on the farm <laughs> but yeah no oh god i was like what are you people doing and i don't look, look they're entertaining in their own way but on the other hand i have to question like uh, who green lights the stuff and you know it's just but it's just so weird i mean it's entertaining but weird at the same time <laughs> crazy motherfuckers that's who uh. oh gosh um now i, I would do I actually want to end off the podcast doing something. I actually want to do this as an experiment since this is the 10th episode and I was saving this uh, for last specifically. Uh, you know how on the H3 podcast they always ask about... Um, the ghost stories. Uh, have, uh, have, yes, the ghost stories. So I, I want to ask uh, now you guys, any uh, ghost e experiences or not ghost experiences, anything that's just generally just creeps you out and you maybe thought you saw something? No, not me. Mm. the the closest The closest thing I've ever had was one time in recess in first grade. I was running around and playing on the playground, and then I thought I heard my dad call my name from behind me, like from far away. 
like very loud. I turned I turned yep. around and nothing was there, but that was it. <laughs> that's that's the most exciting that's the most exciting thing I have. Wow. I thought maybe it was an I thought I thought maybe it was an angel or something. It's trying to save me. That's the only excuse I could come up with for it. Other than other than that, it's probably just a weird fucking phenomena. Huh. And uh, I don't know if I have anything. I, I, I had this one thing, uh, but the problem I have with this is that I'm not sure if I remember it myself or if it has been told to me so many times that I think I've remembered it myself. Mm. And in that case, anyway, this is how it goes. Mom and dad are at the second floor of my gran grandpa's, no, grandma's house. And they leave me there because they are on the way to my other grandpa's house because uh, my uncle just died, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I, I think I was about about five or something like that at the moment, uh, at, that, at that time. <laughs> And yeah, they took off anyway to take care of that and see see what has happened. He 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 kind of did a rock and roll kind of <clears throat> drunk, vomited and choked on his own vomit kind of thing. Uh, so he woke up and he was dead anyway. Uh, they run over there and they left me by myself in in the second floor with my um, my dad's brother oh. and. Uh, I was up playing or doing something like that, and he went downstairs to get something, and then he heard me talking to somebody upstairs. Uh, supposedly, I told him that I was talking to to my uncle, the one the one who just died. Uh, that he, he he was he just he just came by to say bye, goodbye, and uh, nothing more. And then I just kept on playing, and I freaked and I freaked him the fuck out. Because supposedly <laughs> that's what I told him. I told him that my uncle, the one who died, came over just to say bye, nothing more, and I just kept playing like nothing, you know. So I scared the shit out of him, and then my mom and dad came back, and he told them, and he scared the shit out of them as well. So, but but I, I, you know that that's the thing. I, I don't really remember it like that. I remember I remember like a goodbye kind of thing but I, I don't know you know maybe it was from a time when we were there visiting maybe it was from a time when he came over i'm not sure i, I don't know it's hard to say mm. so yeah and here's the thing here's, <laughs> here's the, the thing like most people i know that are atheists <clears throat> most of them don't believe in ghosts and never have experiences i'm i'm not an atheist mm -hmm. like yeah. i definitely believe in in like some sort of afterlife of some sort um, but you know, I've never had any experiences with it at all, you know, yeah. and that, I mean, that's the, oh, uh, go ahead. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, but that's the only experience I've had and talking about <clears throat> atheist, I mean, I'm an mm -hmm. atheist, but well, I guess I'm more, more of an agnostic of mo anything. I mo mean, if something <clears throat> exists, then mo most great, atheists but, are, but I, I most atheists believe. are agnostic. Yeah, I guess so. And and f for me to deny that uh, would be stupid because that's that's what I feel that I I, I kind of it's it's one of those um, things where you got cool. you guys are trying to think more empirically, and you're and it's yeah, one of those things. And, there's there's no yeah, evidence to support. Was, there's no evidence to deny in that in that type of thing. No. Hmm. So th th that's the thing. There's no evidence besides the fact what people have told me afterwards, and I kind of grew up with that story, mm -hmm. right? And I guess it happened, but I mean, since I don't really remember it that well, I can't say if it's something that he imagined happened to me or something I was just saying just to say it. I don't know. I, I'm so I'm not even sure what happened, to be honest. Uh, still, I don't really believe. Uh, I mean, the thing is, like, I don't really believe in religion and, 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 and God in that sense. If something happens after we die, then great. If not, then fuck it. I don't care. It's like whatever. You know that that's that's how I think anyway. So I don't know. Yeah, no worries. It's, it's hard no to worries. say if it was real. Or... It's just yeah. spe specifically like most of the people that I do know who like believe in ghosts or like ghost stories either believe in some sort of religious thing or at least in like quote unquote spirituality, which I think is a a bullshit term personally. Um, but like that there is an afterlife and there's more to us than this human shell. And anyone who is like a reductive materialist who thinks that we're just like 
a, a conglomeration of atoms arranged a certain way, typically they never have ghost experiences, at least fr from what I've seen and noticed, you know? Mm. I just, I think I'm, I'm naturally yeah. highly skeptical anyway, even though, I mean, obviously I'm not atheist, so obviously I'm not that skeptical, right? But, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um, no, uh, yeah. like I, I find that most people that are more skeptical typically, I don't know. I feel like they think clearer about it personally. I don't know. That, mm. That's just what I've noticed. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my side, though, I cannot say that I have personally experienced something. But um, my uh, brother, on the other hand, now this is now this actually freaked me the fuck out when I was younger, right? Um, now. Uh, obviously, you know this, Mike, uh, uh, I was uh, raised Roman Catholic, and I'm still pretty much uh, pract practicing that to this mm -hmm. day, but um, I am, like, you know, I do tend to have, you know, a bit more of a skeptic side, so if you know, want to say I'm kind of in the middle when it comes to everything, you know, there are some things where I can see where it comes from, and other things I'm just like, eh, yeah, totally. you know, uh, I don't see the logic in that, but anyway. So, but this creeped me the fuck out when I was a kid. I think I was in, like in fourth grade, fifth grade, something like that. So now what happened in this particular case is um, we went, uh, my brother and I, we went to bed. And uh, obviously when we were younger, we'd go to bed uh, long before my parents would. So we went to bed, a uh, couple hours passed, you know, normal night, busy sleeping and shit. And the next thing I know, I wake up to shouting and I'm like, the, at first I'm like thinking like, oh my gosh, well, who's shouting now? <laughs> I just want to sleep and shit, you know? And then I notice it's, it's my brother and uh, obviously we share a room. So um, it's my brother, he's busy shouting and stuff. And then next minute, then I know the lights get turned on uh, and they're trying to uh, wake a, a, uh, him up. And um, my gosh, when he did eventually come round, uh, he was so freaked the shit out. He was saying that uh, a whole bunch of uh, figures were... It was uh, almost like sleep paralysis, almost, but in a more nightmarish shit. form. Uh, so what he did was, like, he, w he wouldn't stop shouting. And when... Uh, what was... Uh, did you get disconnected, Mike? Hello? Uh -huh. I think we lost Mike. <laughs> You think? I think so, yeah. Wait. Oh. Did we lose him? I don't think so. No, he's... Yeah, Hello? I think we did. <laughs> so, let me show, show, try calling him. Oh, uh, hey, sorry. Gosh, I, uh, sorry. Okay, I figured out what happened. I accidentally put you guys on hold. Okay, <laughs> we're good. What? We're good. <laughs> sorry about that. That was... I was like, I was back. trying to return... The I was time. trying to return back to the call... And I was like, okay, I'll hit this icon. And it tried calling you again while I was already on the phone with you. I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. So <laughs> that was the issue. Sorry about that, fellas. Okay. So, sorry. Um, did, did you hear what uh, I said or do you, would you like me to restart? I was catching some of it. Um, it was mostly fucking you were a kid, freaked you the fuck out. And, yeah. And you were, okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so my brother was uh, screaming and stuff, yeah, and then when he eventually came round, yeah, so when he eventually came round, and I guess you could say he had a episode similar to sleep paralysis, only, you know, instead of being paralyzed and, uh, you know, not being able to do shit, he was obviously screaming and shit, mm -hmm. and so when he did eventually come round, um, he, he, gosh, he said that, um, because when he was uh, a lot younger, he said that, you know, he wanted to join the priesthood and that he wanted to be a priest. That's what he said when he was younger, anyway. Yeah. Obviously, shit has changed since then, but uh, that's what he wanted to do. So, um, he said that uh, uh, what he saw uh, was that uh, he was walking, I guess, in like, you know, like a church, like hallway or something like that. And then there were these figures all clad in like these red hood things but um they wore you know masks like uh you know the the, the guy uh the one guy in, uh, in slipknot the dude with a very long nose uh not for particularly like that but kind of mask? I, I have an idea of what you're talking about okay well well anyway <clears throat> uh, uh yeah but uh, it's a mask similar to that 
So you just saw these weird, creepy-ass figures just gathered around this, um, I guess you could call it like a like a little font of sorts, a uh, baptismal font of sorts, and uh, they all gathered around there, and the one pointed at him, and uh, then he started screaming, and he, he kind of was half awake, half asleep, and he said it felt like his arm uh, was being pulled down, like it was being pulled down into something. When it is, and he freaked us all the fuck out that night, and I was just like thinking to myself like, Oh, fuck, shit. Um, well, I'm not sleeping well for the rest of the night, so... Oh, I had, I was, I, needless I had to a, say, yeah, something needless similar to that, actually, but it wasn't, like, it didn't feel like it was in real life. It was actually in a dream. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I didn't include it, oh. but um, it freaked me the fuck out. I was, like, in some weird labyrinth that was, like, completely closed off. Like, there was no opening to it anywhere. I was walking around... And I remember it very well because it was like gray concrete type walls, not really concrete, but kind of like like old school concrete stone floor. And then like a red carpet that was like like a red carpet walkway type area. And I was walking around and came out to this one part that was kind of like kind of hexagonal. But one side was like a flat, longer wall that didn't complete the whole hexagon. And along that wall was a display, and it was a painting of the Virgin Mary. And I, I tried looking at it, and like I was looking straight at it, but I couldn't focus in and see it completely. It was like I was looking directly at it, but I couldn't see it clearly. I don't know how to des- I don't yeah. know how to describe it. Like I wasn't fully identifying it. It looked familiar, like it was the Virgin Mary, but I couldn't absolutely pinpoint that it 100 was i don't know how else to describe it mm. and at that very huh. moment i felt freaked out because i'm like something's not right something is uncomfortable i can see everything else clearly and i can't identify what this is at that immediately following that i feel something pulling my leg and dragging me towards the painting i don't know what the fuck it is at all it was freaking me out I, I was like i had my eyes closed in the dream too like i'm like fuck 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 and before i know it i feel like this weird energy in my chest that like builds up to like a tension and then it fucking exploded yeah. and i literally took off like a rocket took off like a fucking rocket wow yeah <laughs> like this is weird it's really 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 weird <laughs> took off like a fucking rocket yeah. flew up into the air Floated back down, and there, there, okay, randomly, there were my parents, and they were like clapping for me. Don't ask. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> it's kind of like the end of Evangelion, and they were like, Congratulations. <laughs> kind of, kind of, yeah, it was a little weird. But, but um, it was, and there, it was in yeah. like some like weird, like really otherworldly fantasy type of like landscape. And then I ran back to where that room was and looked at the painting. And I could see it 100% clearly. And up in the top corner, it said Clairvaux, which is uh, the city where St. Bernard came from. St. Bernard was actually our patron saint of our church that I went to. So, ah, okay. yeah. Mm. But, hmm. yeah, the, the only thing I can say now, it wasn't like that, but it was a dream, a dream for me. Because I remember as a kid, um, I used to be uh, terrified of... Um, you know, in any kind of story, and it wasn't just from the, uh, you know, the Disney Snow White film. It wasn't just because of that. It was just the kind of books I, uh, my parents got for me in general. I used to be freaked the fuck out by, you know, witches, you know, like old hags and yeah. stuff, because, like, the drawings were surprisingly detailed <laughs> in those kids' books. So, <laughs> so um, I used to be freaked the fuck out by that shit. So, uh, and I, to be honest, still kind of am, though not as badly. But um, I will admit, if I had to run into someone who looked like something like that in real life, I'd be turned tail and run the other way. So, but um, the, the thing is this. Uh, the one night I, I... Now, this was a dream, but it still felt like super fucking real. And um, I think it was after I watched... Uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz or something like that when I was a kid, the like the old one. So, um, gosh, how to explain it? So, in my dream, I'm lying in my bed, I'm busy sleeping, 
And then I, I'm like kind of lying. Then I, all of a sudden I'm like half awake, or half asleep, and then I'm like looking around. And then uh, when we go to sleep, obviously the it's South Africa, you know, everything's locked up and shit, you know, because the crime's high here and everything like that. So mm. everything's locked up, uh, passage doors locked and stuff. Then the only uh, rooms you can enter in is the bathroom, the toilet, and uh, uh, out to my parents' bedroom and my brother and I's bedroom. <sighs> All so, right. Yeah, so what happens is I'm lying there, and then the next thing I know, I see, you know how like in the Nosferatu film, you see uh, you see him walk up the stairs like that with the, his shadow like that? I yeah, know, yeah. yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah. Sorry, keep so, going. So, yeah, so, so think that, but going slightly faster, and literally the silhouette of like an old hag, like a witch going like across the the wall so i'm like thinking like oh shit and it went to my parents room so i'm like thinking like oh fuck what's going on yeah so i I get up and in my dream i like grab the cricket bat that's like by the doors i grab the cricket bat and then i walk into the room and then i see my parents are lying there and then uh, obviously i didn't turn the lights on that's like and then i walk up to and i like shake my mom and like mom are you awake and then i shit you not the ugliest hag ever turns around looks at me and she's like literally she's got no fucking eye eyeballs she's literally got like flames in the hollow sockets looks at me and starts cackling and the last thing i remember is just bringing the fucking bat down before i woke up and i kid you not i shit you not i remember that dream so fucking vividly to this fucking day and it was just the most unpleasant experience i ever had <laughs> shit that's creepy as hell, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and that was like when I was like super young. And the, the fact that it still freaks me out to this day is like, oh. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's, why I tend to, that's why I tend to avoid horror movies <clears throat> as much as I, I can. Unless it's maybe sci-fi horror. But other than that, uh, like if it's supernatural shit, I'll be like, fuck man, I'm not watching that movie. Get it away from me. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of times it's super... But anyway. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was finished. <laughs> oh, all right. I was just going to say, a lot of times I avoid horror movies, not because like, I mean, obviously, I mean, I do get scared by some of them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm a man. I don't get scared. It's like, yeah, they're intended to scare you. Of course. <laughs> hey, stop being a little yeah, girl, man. Okay. Yeah. I, you obviously don't have your proper brain function engaged to fight or flight if it doesn't have any effect on you. So fuck off. But mm. either way, um, what was it gonna, oh yeah but like one of the big reasons why i don't watch them because a lot of times they suck they're just really bad like even from just like a movie standpoint like the like the ring the whole plot of the ring i was like but why but how just because just because she's like oh this means this how does it mean that how did you come to this logical conclusion because it makes no fucking sense like it's just it's, it's dumb it's dumb it bothers the piss out of me <laughs> But if things bother you, why do you why do you watch them? I mean, why did you watch The Ring? You I watched I watched the be, I watched The Ring good? because I my I, I didn't fucking watch it because that little girl scares the shit out of me. So I was like, fuck that. I won't watch oh, she she was creepy I as just, fuck. She was don't. definitely creepy as fuck. Um, no, I, I watched it yeah. because my girlfriend at the time wanted me to watch it. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, and at, by the end of it, I was like, this kind of uh, sucked. <laughs> I was trying. I'm like, fuck it's one that. of the reasons why a, a number of my exes didn't like watching movies with me because if it wasn't good, I would ruin it for them. Oh my god, my my one ex girlfriend <laughs> made me watch Twilight with her. She fucking paid for it. I, I she 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 read the book all the books and loved that movie. And even she was laughing at the jokes that I was cracking at that movie. She's like, stop. I'm like, no. You know this is stupid. You know this is trash. <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, it was quite, it was quite bad. I saw I saw one of them. I don't know which one I saw. I saw I know that I I don't believe I saw the first one. I wa I watched like a little bit in the middle uh, when I was home one Christmas visiting, and my my sister was there with a bunch of friends, and they were watching one of them, and I was like, so so who is who? What are they doing? Why is he shining? The, the better question. <laughs> Is he the, a dog? And I was like, I didn't get anything. I didn't understand the, anything. The better question, the better reading, question is who just cares? To understand what what it was. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. That, as as, as, only, as what, just messing of course. With them. But no, funny. fucking um the one that was the thing that she kept trying to say to me. It's like it makes more sense if you read the book. I'm like, then they did a terrible job of making this movie. Plain and simple. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's true. Like that's true. I mean, a lot, a lot of movie has ha, have gotten attention even far beyond books uh, that you know just have been well made. I mean, a lot of people I know haven't even read Tolkien's. Yeah, uh, that's what, uh, that's what I was gonna say. And love the movies, and I mean, I guess Peter Jackson did a good job. I mean, even though he missed a lot of things, he still did a pretty decent with, job. With with what he, with the material he had to work with, with the with the stuff yeah. he did at his had had at his disposal, and with with the type yeah, of, of story he wanted to tell. I mean, like it's not a one for one retelling; it's an adaptation. And yeah, but still, I mean, I, I thought it was oh, awesome with totally. what he had and at the time. That, that's I that's mean, exactly what I'm saying. And I understand why people love those yeah. movies. And and I, I would never I would never say like oh uh, the books are better because it's really it's of course if you read the books uh, there's much more in yeah. the books but I, I I wouldn't necessarily say that the books are better just because of it I think that he really did a really good job with those books, to- totally even though they lack a little bit of of, of what was yeah in the the, there's some there's some depth that's not it's... there but it doesn't need it to be a good yeah. story. You know, it's not necessary. No, not really, not really. Uh, I think so. I, he actually did something very interesting uh, when he did the other trilogy with uh, Bill, Bilbo. Or, Fuck or, or no, uh, no. Hobbit. That Hobbit. I, I draw Hobbit. the line yeah. at the Hobbit. That trilogy sucked, plain and simple. <laughs> he did. He 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 actually put some things in that that should have been in Lord of yeah. the Rings, actually. Uh, that, that's what I noticed anyway I, I saw it it didn't affect me as much as the Lord of the Rings did I guess it was decent but I, I don't remember any of the movies to be honest the, I, I know the book by heart but but the movie didn't really do it I don't understand why they did ha- not have to do three movies because because yeah, movie studios because movie studios that's why are you yeah. doing a trilogy for this because one Hollywood. why don't you do a trilogy I, I, out of one I, I, book I, I, that was shorter yeah. than one volume of that trilogy yeah. That was the stupidest decision. Yeah. So dumb. Yeah. Very stupid because, I mean, a lot of people think that uh, The Lord of the Rings are three books. Well, in fact, it isn't. It's a book. But the book is so fucking thick, so they made three <laughs> movies out of it. You know, that makes sense. But in, 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 in Bilbo uh, or The Hobbit, it's the other way around. That was kind of a thin little book that yeah. they kind of really... They didn't have enough material for three movies, yeah. to be honest. And not but not only not only that, but they added things that never existed in in the mythos at all, like random shit that did not yeah. need to be there. Not not only that, the yeah. fact that it looked so fucking cartoony and terrible. I mean, like too much CGI. I, did, I didn't hate the first movie, but I was kind of like, uh, like I see why they made certain like changed certain things, like the fucking orc. They they needed. They needed yeah. their main bad guy because that's the arc. That's the archetype of that storytelling. Yeah. Like I get that. I'm, I can I can excuse that as long as it's not terrible. But then I watched the second movie and I was like, "This is bullshit. This is dragging. This is dragging on. <laughs> They're going into things they don't need to go into. Yeah. It's not even interest. Like, the, how could you take a story that was so great and make it fucking boring? How with that <laughs> much of a budget too? That's when you know they should have adapted the Silmarillion. Oh God! What? Oh God! That's a, that's a fucking that's a fucking <laughs> Netflix series right there, my friend. Holy shit! Yeah. Oh, did you hear? Yeah, talk- sorry, uh, uh, sorry, Claudia. No, no. Uh, did uh, did you hear, um, uh, Mike, that the Netflix is making a series of The Witcher? I did not. Oh, they <laughs> are, and it looks fucking awesome. I cannot wait for it to come out. I've never played the game, but I've heard really good yeah. things. The games mm. are awesome. I've played the first two games, and um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I think Claudio knows this, but I don't know if you know this, Mike. But the the first game, um, they actually got uh, uh, the Polish um, death metal band Vader to do a song for it, and the, the, you can actually see the music video on YouTube. It's pretty dope. Nice. Mm. Very cool. Cool. Yeah, that is nice. That so is yeah, nice. <laughs> that is nice. I'm, I'm st- <laughs> so, 
So yeah, uh, gosh, uh, oh shit, two hours. Yep. Oh yeah, we we've been <laughs> well, going hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've, go, we we've been going start on. wrapping this up. I yeah, we should. I have lots of shit to up. do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So, guys, uh, we are going to end the podcast right here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to smash that like button. Smash <laughs> that like button. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you can you can use sure that as a uh, you can use that as a sound bite anytime you need to. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do I'll do that. I'll sample that sound. Recording, I'll add it in. <laughs> so yeah, smash that like button, guys. Uh, share the video around and uh, leave a comment below if you so wish. Uh, also, I encourage you all to check out uh, Mike and Claudio's channels. They will be linked in the description box below and here at the end of the video. And also, guys, if you want to follow me on social media or donate to my Patreon, all that's in the description box as well. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And until the next episode, take care of yourselves. And as always... Have a kick-ass day. Woo! Later. All right. Woo!